some leaked images have been going around the internet showing a Fortnite and Halo crossover. Why this actually is a good thing for Halo and why it could possibly mean Halo Infinite having a battle royale. And even 343 hints at this crossover. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you some more news and information when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helped out the video and channel. So let's get right into it. So there have been some leaked images going around showcasing Halo being in Fortnite. Now these rumors have not been confirmed though people who have leaked sources say that it's confirmed but they're not willing to say their names and so it's kind of just still hearsay at the moment but it does seem to kind of line up properly and these leaks do look rather legit and tying it all in with what the community director said about fortnite just the other day seems to kind of line up that this event is probably going to be happening that a fortnite and halo collaboration is going to be happening and that it'd be i think honestly a fantastic move for the games as a whole so let's Look at all this information in the chain of events of way it happened because we saw this tweet here by Brian Gerard, who is also known as Sketch, who is the community director at 343 saying, kudos to Fortnite for the sweet Galactus event. My son and I had a lot of fun this season. Looking forward to what's next. Now you're looking at that first tweet going like, okay, yeah, um, you know, it's a guy who's a head position within one of a major gaming company of 343 Industries, just giving some kudos to Fortnite, just kind of saying, hey, great job out there. It'd be just kind of, you know, within the gamer develop game development community, just being like, hey guys, great job, really like what you did there. But then later on in the evening, these leaks started to happen. A Twitter account called It's Bake came out with this. Little saying thing, some high res pictures of Kratos and Master Chief. So it seems to be some kind of like gaming crossover event. So we have Kratos right here, you can take a quick look at. Actually, it's a pretty sweet looking model for it being Fortnite. Stayed rather true to the, the uh, original example. Then we have Master Chief, boom, right there within Fortnite. Um, I'm not too familiar with Fortnite because I don't play it. And I never really liked the gameplay too much. Uh, so I can't tell if this UI is something that you know, could be easily faked. It looks like it could be easily faked, but if it's legitimate, you know, let me know in the comment section down below. Then we move over, we got the little warthog right here. I mean, all these different positions and characters and art style seem to fit within Fortnite's kind of look. You have a UNSC Pelican as well within these leaked images. And if you kind of scroll back, you kind of see like this Master Chief, like it kind of looks more kind of like based off of like the Halo Infinite version, but a little bit more cartoony, a little bit more vibrant. And you know, we've never seen Master Chief kind of stand in that kind of position. It seems kind of very Fortnite-esque, like they kind of copied some framework and put it over with this Master Chief model. And also that same night, looks like the Gravity Hammer is going to be coming to Fortnite as well as a melee weapon, which using the Gravity Hammer to be able to chop down trees, I mean, that seems pretty awesome. So here's uh, another Twitter account kind of also somewhat confirming this information. This I was talking about like that source that they say it's confirmed, but they didn't provide any information confirming that source. So it's still kind of up in the air. But I mean, they do have a Discord link saying Fortnite leaked. But maybe just kind of some, their dabble in leaked Fortnite information. And they said here saying, I got info from a trusted source that there's going to be a capture the flag type competitive event it might have to do with a halo collaboration later replying to that tweet just saying update i can confirm there's going to be a halo collaboration ltm meaning limited time mode so take what you will with this information though i just want to do some speculation on this and kind of feel like why these leaks are accurate one you have brian gerard the community director named sketch of 343 tweeting out about fortnite now i follow him on twitter and i even have his tweets on notification so when he tweets i know about it and he rarely even ever tweets about Fortnite, much less congratulating them on the game that they do. I never see him congratulating on any events or any uh, kind of special things that are going on. He might have tweeted like a something about like that Travis Scott event that they did within Fortnite saying that was a really awesome feat, which it was. It was actually a really awesome technical achievement that they did with Fortnite. But just out of the blue, tweeting about Fortnite when he never really has a history about tweeting about Fortnite and saying, looking forward to what's coming next. Well, the guy who works on Halo says, looking forward to what's coming next. And what could be coming next is that LTM with all the Halo content. 
I mean, I'm no Fortnite expert, I'm a Halo expert, but these look rather credible leaks and it would be pretty freaking awesome to see Halo within Fortnite. Now, I know a lot of people kind of cringe at the idea of Halo being in Fortnite or there's any kind of collaboration whatsoever, but this is really good for Halo if you have some content within Fortnite. Fortnite is the most popular game out there. So this is, I guess, in a way, free advertising. I don't know if they have to pay money for this, but this is a way to advertise your game of Halo within a different game, the most popular game out there, and why I think this actually could possibly bring new fans over to Halo, because you know there's going to be some people out there that were like, oh, this Master Chief skin is my favorite skin in Fortnite. Never played Halo, let's try out some MCC. Or you got people that are like, oh, I love using like Gravity Hammer within Fortnite and I want to be able to use it in the actual game, we'll go play some Halo and get a chance to enjoy that content in its original form. But while, yes, I'm not a big fan of Fortnite, I do find it cringe as well at times, but I do think it is a good pl platform to be able to showcase Halo in a different way and just having more opportunities to, for more people to catch the, the opportunity to play Halo Yes, I'm all for it. I think that's a fantastic idea. Now, just let me do some tinfoil hat examination here, okay, guys? Uh, you know, obviously, this is going to be my opinion. This isn't bound to any kind of facts or anything, but this is me, like, connecting some dots that I'm kind of starting to see within Halo here. So, let's think about it. So, you have the most popular game out there, Fortnite. You want to put some Halo content in there, correct? Well, yeah, it's a great way to advertise Halo. But what would be the best way to convert players from Fortnite to Halo? Well, I think having a Halo Infinite Battle Royale would kind of do that. Now, I don't know if this is part of any kind of promotion that they bring to, that the that 343 has been doing with saying that, you know, like we've been seeing with, like with the Oreo uh candy offerings where they went ahead and went with the promotional material even though Halo Infinite was delayed. Is this part of that batch as well where they plan to have you know, Halo being advertised within Fortnite because they expected it to be out by now with a battle royale to convert those Fortnite players over to being Halo players? Not fully convert but just in, in the chance to play you know, a Halo Infinite battle royale. That would be the most optimal way to th think about going about doing this. Now, yeah, like I say, it could just be just like, you know, they want to get Halo out to the most popular game out there just so to get some more eyeballs on the franchise. But there are other really popular first person shooters out there and you don't see any Halo options within those. Like you don't see a Halo version of Call of Duty or anything like that. I mean, even though, even though we kind of had that with uh, Infinite Warfare, but I think that was a by design of a some developers over it that work on Call of Duty. But yeah, personally, I think Halo Infinite would be an amazing battle royale. It'd be also, I think, a great way to reuse the campaign map, which we talked about in our previous video earlier today. If you want to check that out, link in the description down below. It gives Halo a chance to, you know, ride the hype of battle royale. It's not a trend, it's here to stay. And it's a really effective tool to not only get people to play your game, but also an amazing marketing tool as well. Of course, a Halo Infinite battle royale with this Fortnite collaboration could just be all speculation on my part. I just feel like why would you advertise Halo within Fortnite if you don't have the same game mode as Fortnite? You know if you know what I mean? Like that's kind of where I'm getting at with this idea. Let me know in the comment section down below. Are you guys excited to play some Fortnite Halo characters? Uh, if I can, I'll try to get some gameplay. I mean, I don't really like playing Fortnite, but uh, you know, this content grind is pretty slow right now. It'd be awesome to get a chance to play some Halo within Fortnite, just to kind of show you guys how the gameplay works out. And plus, I'm, I'm a Halo player. I'd be a total noob at the game. So I think it'd be kind of funny. But if you guys like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you any content for me recently, check out the videos on the screen right here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos. You've been on the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.